Let's perform an experiment to determine the internal resistance R of a battery. The use of variable resistor as the external resistance as shown in the diagram below. Yeah, you can see the setup there. And these are the results of the experiment. We have experiment one, two, three, four, and five. And the first question, 8.1, is saying, let's use the information in the table above to plot a graph of potential difference versus current. Use the graph paper supplied at the end of the question paper. We need V external versus current. As you can see, we have the potential difference on the y-axis and we have the current on the x-axis. The collaboration on both axes will earn you a mark. If you include all five points, you get another mark. If you have a best line of fit, you have another mark. And the last mark is for a negative gradient. Your graph needs to be sloping down. As you can see here, that when the current is increasing, the potential difference is decreasing. The question that really interests me here is 8.2.1. Let's look at 8.2.1. Use the graph to determine the following. The EMF of the battery. So the graph is coming from this information in our table, right? But before we can determine the EMF of the battery in 8.2.1 or the internal resistance in 8.2.2, we actually need an equation for that graph. It is V external versus current, right? But we know fully well that EMF is equal to V external plus V internal we need v external to be the subject of our formula right so we can say that v external is equals to e m f minus v internal so v external will be equals to minus v internal plus e m f but we know fully well beyond reasonable doubt right uh, that v internal is equals to i multiply by the internal resistance so if we substitute that in place of v internal then we're going to have minus the current multiplied by the resistance plus e m f so now you can see the equation we have for graph it will be easy to determine the emf and to determine the internal resistance so let's start with the emf Obviously, you can see here from the equation that when the current is equals to zero, V external is equals to EMF. So if you come here to your graph, when the current is equals to zero, V external will be your EMF. So we can go ahead and say that EMF is equals to 1.5 volts. And 8.2.2, 8.2.2, saying let's find the internal resistance of the battery. Use an equation to justify the method use. So which equation are we supposed to use? We have already deduced that V X channel is equal to I multiplied by R plus E M F. It's easy to see that uh, V X channel is our Y and then our current is X. So our gradient should be R, right? plus emf which is c to find the gradient we actually have to calculate the gradient of the graph using the five experiments we have so the gradient is equals to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 so let's go and pick two points from the five data points we have so we can take uh, this point and this point so this will be our um, second point and this will be our first point potential difference is uh, our y so we're gonna have 1 comma 1 5 minus 1.5 divided by the current corresponding to 1.15 volts that is 229 but it's not just 229 look we have this m here we need to be aware of that so it's 229 multiply by 10 to the minus 3 and then minus the current that corresponds to 1.5 volts which is equals to 0 right and then if you put that in your calculator you're going to get minus 1.53 so our internal resistance is just equals to 1.53 
ohms and that is the answer to 8.2.2 let's look at 8.3 real quick a conducting wire of negligible resistance is connected between the points x and y before we even continue reading let's just go ahead and connect those two points so that we can see with clarity what is gonna happen to our circuit so there we go what does the equation say how does this affect the temperature of the battery write down only increase decrease or remain the same explain your answer it is going to increase it's going to increase let's talk about why that is the case let's talk about why that is the case so when you connect x and y you no longer have external resistance you no longer have external resistance right because the current is just gonna take this path it's not gonna go to that area uh, you start there it's not gonna go to our variable resistor it's just gonna take this path so what are we saying we're saying that the resistance is gonna decrease the external resistance is gonna decrease it's actually gonna go to zero and then when the external resistance uh, decreases what is gonna happen to the current the current is going to increase and then we know that r our internal resistance is constant our internal resistance is constant so if our internal resistance is constant and the current is increased then v internal increases v internal increases and then v internal increasing is the reason why the temperature of our battery is actually going to increase 